morning everybody, JP the Barber here, 720 on the West Coast, and before I get into the video, um, just want to say that I got a new Facebook page, it's more professional, geared toward, you know, linking and networking with other barbers, just my personal page, and it's just Facebook, you know, you can find me under JP the Barber, the link is below, um, if I can, if you need me to spell it, it's JP, T-H-A, B-A-R-B-E-R. -E okay, I'm under that name on Facebook. So, um, if you want to look up, look me up there, link up to me, feel free. You know, I'm, I'm interested to in finding out, you know, looking for other new barbers. Well, not new barbers, but just a barbers on anyone that can teach me something that's useful. You know, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to listen. Okay, um, now that out the way. Shout out to my man Polaris818. You know, he asked me a question. He asked me a couple questions. Um, one of the questions was, what does it take? What, do, what does he need to be a barber? You know, um, I don't want to get into the net. That's a question I can ask. You know, I'm in it three months away from graduation, um, from barber school, that is. Um, the tool aspect, you know, pretty much. Anybody, you know, you know, there's lots of tools out there for you to use. You know, you got your Andis, you got your Wall, you got your Osters, you got your Babyliss, you got your Conair, anything. I mean, use whatever works for you and what you can afford. You understand? Um, I will tell you that get yourself a nice blender machine, a nice all-around machine, and a pair of dependable trimmers you know get 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 those four things you know and you be okay and go from there and don't be afraid to experiment with other clippers don't be afraid to experiment with that stuff to know it feels good for you you know for example i use andis i use the andis master you know but nobody else in my school uses it not as much. It's only one other person that uses the Andis Master at my school. Now that could be because we're both heavy-handed and we're bigger people. You know, I've heard them. I've heard other students say that it's too heavy. I've heard other students say it's too hot. Well, dang, all the clippers get hot. You know, the fast was that's not the fast feed, but I mean, it just depends on what you feel better with. Use that. But I want to get into the stuff that. You know, it's not really talked about. Um, that's better. I want to get this into, the, like, the will, okay? First of all, you need your determination. You know, have your goal in mind. If you, want, if you want to become a barber, then become a barber, okay? You can't fake the funk in this job. You know, this is something that either you're in it or you're out, okay? And people will be in the industry will be able to tell which is what. You have to want to be a barber. You have to become learned. You can't half step because you're playing with people's appearance here. And you have to live by your word. If you tell somebody you're here at this time and they come this time, you stick by that. You know, you have to tell them yes. Sometimes you have to tell them, hey, that's not going to look great. You have to do something else. But these are things that you have to do in order to become not just a barber, but a good one. You have to. Live by your word. You have to look the part. Okay? And you have to actually perform above and beyond expectations sometimes. Alright? It's not always going to be rosy every day. But this is a job that, I mean, I, I have to say this is the best job I've ever had in my life. Alright? Be determined. I mean, don't let haters stop you. You know, you do something different. Like these videos, I get laughed at because I do the videos and nobody else does it. But then, you know, but... Behind my back, they envy you because they they want the videos that I have already and they want to do what I'm doing. But either they can't or their, their ego is stopping them. You know, and um, the biggest thing, <laughs> either find an apprentice to go to or go to barber school. Don't hurt the profession, you know, by performing just by performing out, out of your house or out of your garage, you know, or things like that. If you want to become a barber, be a professional about it. A licensed barber, when a bar, when you come into the barbershop, 
and you see that license up there, that means that barber is skilled, okay? That barber knows what he's doing. He's been trained, and he's certified, okay? It's just no different. It's no difference from um, a doctor, you know, a lawyer. You have to get certifications to perform the tasks that are asked of those professions. Same with barber. Same with beautician. You are, once you get your license, once you get your state license, your state board license, you're certified. That's it. Okay? If you care about this profession and the money is put in your pocket and putting on your table to feed your families, get the paper. All right? Don't hurt us by going and doing stuff under the table. We want to slide stuff like that because all it's doing is hurting you and your money and it's hurting us as a whole. Uh, speaking of money, you know, I'm going to tell y'all something because when I went to school, this wasn't told to me. So I'm going to let y'all in. I'm going to let you know what's, what, what really happens, okay? If you're hurting for money to go to barber school, this is what you do. You go down to your unemployment office, okay? Now, out in here, it's called, um, where I'm at, it's called North County Career Center. This is in Oceanside, San Diego, Oceanside, California. What you do is you go to your unemployment office wherever you're at, and they should have what's called EDD, and it's financial aid, all right? And all that is uh, grants, you know, state funding and federal government grants. And basically, if you're doing a career change, and you fit the criteria, which basically in our state, in my state, I'm in the state of California, you have to go to caljobs.org, you make yourself a profile, you print out your resume, and then you go to this hour and a half class, they look you up to a counselor, and then you sign some more paperwork. They will pay for your whole class. They'll pay for everything, including your kit, okay? They'll pay for your tuition, in some cases, they'll even give you, you got a car, they give you gas cards. If you take the bus, they'll give you a free bus pass. See, these are things that nobody's telling us that are available to you. But either they don't want you to know or people know and they don't want you to know, you know, because it's funded. So once those funds are gone, it's gone. And in some cases, they're rushing at the end of the fiscal year to get them out because the fact is they haven't spent enough and Whatever they don't spend, they'll lose the next year. So the funds are there. The gov people, the government, the state governments, the, the federal governments have it. You just got to go look for it. You know, if y'all want more information on that, write me. All right? Subscribe. Write to me. And I'll be more than happy to let you know. Because, like I said, this wasn't told to me. Had this was told to me when I first started barber school, I wouldn't be hustling trying to pay this last payment now. But... It is what it is, and so let's make sure that y'all don't make that same mistake. Go do what I'm saying, man. Go to your unemployment office, all right? Go find out about career training, but basically career training, and see what they do for you because that can help you out in the long run. And all you got to do is make sure you go, be dedicated, because they're going to check on you to make sure you're going to those classes. They're going to check on the school. They're going to check on you, all right? And once you do that, it's all you. All right. Thanks for thanks for tuning in this morning. I gotta get ready to go to school now. Leaving about a half hour, so peace out. JP the Barber signing out.